The people on the front lines of the opioid epidemic see the crisis daily. It's become typical for a crew to respond to an opioid-related overdose on every shift in Hennepin County. That is where the highest number of overdoses in Minnesota occur. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily and photojournalist Grant Verdon spent a full shift with Hennepin County EMS paramedics. Paramedics can't predict what type of call they'll run on, but say one response has become too common. When you are literally saving people, bringing them back from death or the edge of death. On this eight hour shift, Hennepin EMS crews responded to at least three suspected overdoses. This is a suspected heroin overdose. Hang on a second. Reports are that his lips turned blue and he wasn't breathing properly. His girlfriend had Narcan and administered two doses of Narcan. Narcan can stop or reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. So they're going to put him down on the stretcher. Whether it's a prescription or street drug. He's certainly awake and breathing now. Um, person who gave it saved his life. The patient allowed me in the ambulance while medics started an IV. It's done so they can give more Narcan if needed or give medication to stop side effects of the drug. Just have you sit right here. The patient appeared alert but groggy, covered his face and didn't say much. Even still, medics say it's far different from someone who was overdosed on an opioid and is in need of Narcan. You know, the first time you see it, it's definitely frightening, sure, for anybody, even if you're trained to do it. But like you get comfortable with it and you start to realize that that's a person you can help. When a patient comes back, there's the point when the person's breathing turns from shallow to normal. Their eyes and they're, you know, hey guys, start talking to you like they're, you know, came back from the dead. Other times, if they've been hypoxic for a long period of time, meaning no oxygen in their brain, they can start getting aggressive, start fighting. Paramedics call this the new normal. This is where we keep our Narcan. The frequency of the use of the life saving drug has increased. We carry four in the truck itself, and then we also carry two rounds of Narcan in the bag as well. And paramedics say opioids have gotten more potent, so they're often having to use more to bring someone back. It's frustrating, but it's also rewarding. These are the kind of calls where we can kind of turn people around, potentially save their lives. Uh, but it also gets frustrating because you see a lot of the same people over and over again. In the days after our ride along, Hennepin EMS responded to three people overdosing at the same time. Two of the people survived, but despite their best efforts, a third did not. We have more information on what the county and the state is doing to stop the crisis at WCCO.com slash links.